Back in May, the Writers Guild of America, which represents 11,500 screenwriters, went on strike over issues like residuals from streaming and artificial intelligence, bringing Hollywood grinding to a halt and costing the American economy around $5 billion. But to add insult to injury, five late-night hosts who have been left showless without their writing crews have announced a new podcast to raise proceeds for out-of-work staff and crew. Now, I think this is obviously a good cause, until we realize that having to watch Stephen Colbert, Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, Seth Meyers, and John Oliver go it alone is going to be the comedy equivalent of Amy Schumer's The Leather Special, translated into German. The Spotify podcast is called Strike Force 5, immediate proof that without writers, these people are nothing, and it was born out of weekly, hilarious, and compelling conversations they'd supposedly been having in private. And it's going to focus on the complexities behind the ongoing Hollywood strikes. My sides are splitting already. Here's the best trailer they could come up with. One more time, Jimmy. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jimmy Fallon. Oh, I'm Stephen I Colbert. Thought, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. I thought when you said Jimmy, you meant me, Jimmy, but you meant Jimmy, Jimmy. I always you. mean you. But when you I say always Seth, mean... Seth Meyers, who do you mean? I mean John Oliver. It's sense. the five of us together for uh, maybe an hour a, a day. Strike Force 5 is the name of our podcast. Subscribe to it now. Spotify or wherever else you get your podcasts. But Spotify, you fucks. It really highlights their comedic genius, doesn't it? Jimmy Fallon seems bored and or drunk. Jimmy Kimmel is laughing about the fact that two of them are called Jimmy. Stephen Colbert is doing nothing but grinning like an escaped mental patient. Seth Meyers struggles to read and is frankly lucky to be there. That's saying something. And John Oliver leans on his really one funny bit being British and saying fuck, classic. It's one thing for writers to fight for better treatment, but if this means that we have to suffer through Strike Force 5, I'm begging the entire Writers Guild of America to take one for the team and get back to work. WGA, you're our only hope.